Mantis! Mantis! Where is she? I don't know, sir. What the hell's going on? Ella? Ella? Did you find her? Get out of the way. Are you down here? Ella? Ella, I'm not playing games. Ella? And then she said to me, I'm going to find romance overseas. She didn't elaborate, but I pray. She's talking about my trip to Italy in October. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ciao, Bella. <laughs> I see trouble with this man you're about to marry. What kind of trouble? I see water, dark water. There's evil in him, many faces. That means he can be very duplicitous. Most of the faces are not clear. The eyes are missing. What does that mean? The eyes are the window to the soul. And when they are missing, it means the person does not allow anyone to see in. Can you see anything specific? Look here, your lifeline, it's short. I see your death connected to this man. I'm sorry. I would never reveal such information if I wasn't being told it could save you. <laughs> I'm so excited for the rest of your party. Well, that was fun. That was entirely disturbing. I don't know what that was. Are you sure you didn't set me up? Oh my god, Ella, no. You know how I feel about Tolan, but I had nothing to do with that. Ella. What is it? An amulet to protect you. Wear it at all times. What's that? Oh, it's a gift from Lydia. Your sister's known you the longest. She still doesn't get your style, does she? I suppose not. How was the party? It was fun. We had a great time. What did you do? We had dinner, and then we went to a few different bars for drinks. Mika got us a limo, so no one had to drive. That was thoughtful. You didn't go anywhere else? Oh, yeah, we went to this fortune teller place. Everyone had their palms read. It was Lydia's idea, it was silly. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What was your fortune? She said I was gonna live happily ever after. Hey, let's go upstairs. Okay, well done. Now, Dad and I are gonna go to Aunt Ella's wedding, so you're gonna spend the day with Jeremy, okay? Okay, Mom. Okay, grab your backpack and Dad will walk you over. What am I doing? Walking Josh next door to Jeremy's. Got it. Let's go, bud. I'm ready, so we can go whenever you're done. Sounds good. I, I love you, have fun. No kiss for me? Hey, hey. 
How's it going out there? Ah, it's getting busy. Yeah, it's almost time. Yeah, somehow this isn't quite how I pictured the day going. It's fine. Let's get this wedding started. Please, don't do this. We can call off the whole thing right now. You know I can't do that. One text and Harrison will come around back with the car. And embarrass Tolan like that? Do you realize what he would do? I am afraid for you, Ella. Well, don't be. I found a way to deal with him and things have gotten better. This is the best way for me. As your sister, I have to say this, otherwise I will never forgive myself. So dramatic. What is it? He's a monster. And I can't stand by and let you make this terrible mistake. Listen to me. This is what I want. This is my life, and we are going through with this wedding. I know what you've been through. Please, Ella, please don't do this. I hear you, sis. But I know what I'm doing. And someday, you'll see that I'm right. Besides, what could go wrong? I've got Madame Deirdre's amulet. Oh, great. Yeah, well, that fixes everything. I love you. I love you too. She looks beautiful. Hi, you two. Oh, how are you making my Barbados? It's okay. She said to trust her, right? Yeah. I just want to go home and see Josh. I'd love it. Let's pick him up and do something fun. Okay. Honey, where's my coffee cup? Never mind. I got it. That's going to pick it up from the babysitters today, okay? Okay. Mm, what time? Five, remember? Yeah. I have a late meeting, and Missy will be here at 5.30 for piano practice. Cool. Yeah. I'll grab dinner on my way home. Oh, hey, no tofu, goat cheese, oh, or kale, okay? Oh, but it's so good for you. <laughs> Come on, bud. How about mac and cheese, Mom? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, hey, um, did you hear from your sister? Nope, nothing yet. Come on, buddy. All right, bye. Don't forget to pick up Josh. Love you. Love you. Of course I can do that, Barbara. I'm here to help. No problem. I'll get the MLS listings out to you today. There's several on here I think you'll really like. All right, thanks. You have zero new texts. Hey, sis. I'm missing you. Drop a line when you can. Call Mika. Calling Mika. Oh, one second, guys. I need to take this call. Hey, Liddy, what's up? Hey, have you heard from Ella since the wedding? No, but isn't she in the Caribbean? On a yacht on her honeymoon? Yeah, but I thought she would text us and check in and let us know how it's going or post pictures or something. She might not have cell service. I'm sure they're doing fine. I've been watching the weather. There's no tropical storms or anything. Yeah. No need to worry. If she texts me, I'll let you know. But I'm sure she'll be in touch soon. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no need to worry. I don't know what to tell you, Lydia. Maybe she's not enjoying herself, and she has nothing to share. Well, still, you'd think she would at least check in with me. Even if things are bad, we have a code. A code? Yeah, a code. We used to talk about her parents without them knowing about it. You want to be kind of obvious if she texts you back in code? No. No, it's really clever. So you disregard the first and the last sentence. Mm -hmm. And everything else, you combine the first letter of each word. Watch. 
Sí. Hey babe, how's everything? Loving paradise. We'll call later. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, disregard first and last sentence. Mm -hmm. So then how's H everything E loving L Paradise. E. See? Okay. Help. <laughs> you came up with this as kids? Well, Ella did. We did all throughout middle and high school. I'm sure she's fine. I mean, she told you that this is what she wanted and she knows what she's doing, right? No, I know, I just, I wish she would. Who is it? It's Tolan. Hello? Lydia. Yes, I'm, I'm here. It's Tolan. Tolan, what, what's wrong? What's going on? <sighs> Something happened to Ella. I think she fell off the boat. What? She went up to the deck to get some air. She didn't come back. Fifteen minutes later, I went up to look for her. And she wasn't anywhere. The Barbados Coast Guard is out there not looking for her. It's just... It's just so dark. Oh, my God. Uh, Tolan, it's Harrison. Uh, where are you now? I'm at the hotel giving the police a statement. Listen to me, Harrison. Ella can swim. The water's warm. Just still find her. He did it. You know that he did this. Tolan, we'll be down on the first flight in the morning. Where are you? What city? Playa Vienta Hotel. St. James Parish. We'll, we'll contact you when we arrive. If he did anything to her, I swear to God. Hello. 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 I'm so sorry. My name is Isaiah Gratwati, and I'm the lead Coast Guard. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Can you tell us more about the investigation? Of course. We received a distress call at 10 o'clock last night that a woman, your sister, was missing from the yacht. We have six boats in the water and one plane searching, but we have not found her yet. What did her husband say? She felt bad, so she went to the deck. 15 minutes passed, and he went to check on her, but she was nowhere to be found. We searched the yacht. No blood, no sign of a fight. She was gone. I'm sure he did this. Honey. No. In my heart, I know it. Tolan Ferrier is a controlling, abusive man, and I never should have let her come down here with him. Ma'am, please, be calm. We've turned this matter over to the police in District E, and they will investigate further. Accident or homicide is too soon to tell. A phone. Did you find a phone? We found no cell phone. If there was no cell service, she wouldn't have had her phone with her. It would have been left in the room, right? I don't know, honey. People carry their phones with them. Maybe she was taking pictures or something. Yeah, maybe. It would have been pitch black out there, though. I can't imagine how scared she must have been in that dark water. I see water, dark water. Oh my God. What? The, the palm reader, Madame Deirdre, the one that said Ella was in danger from Tolan, she said that she saw dark water. She literally said dark water. Yes, literally. I should, I should tell the police this. Come on. You really think the police here are gonna take you seriously if you come to them with a story you got from a palm reader? I should have tried harder to stop her. Sis, I'm worried about you. I'm worried that one night he's gonna get wasted and I'm gonna get a call from the emergency room. Or worse. Don't worry. That is not gonna happen. I tried to intervene, but she wouldn't listen. 
Why did she go through with the marriage? I don't know. You did everything you could. I should have done more. We went to this fortune teller place. Everyone had their palms red. You don't keep me in suspense. What was your fortune? She said I was going to live happily ever after. Happily ever after. Hello? Hey, Lydia, it's Dolan. We need to talk. Um, sure. In person. Meet me at the fireside patio in 10 minutes. <sighs> uh, Harrison, mm. get up. So, Tolan, there's a few questions Lydia and I had about what happened on the boat. Did you kill her? Lydia. Did you? Of course not. What kind of crazy question is that? I, I loved your sister. Why didn't she text me when you guys landed at the airport? We were going through customs. We were in a hurry. I don't know, maybe she forgot. I can't believe that you think. It's unconscionable. I'd never do that to Ella. I've heard enough. Tell him what happened out there. Coast Guard didn't tell you? We'd like to hear from you. Ella went up to the deck to get some air. Figured that she was seasick. Hey, I'm gonna go up and get some air. Okay. I must have dozed off. Ella! 15 minutes later, she hadn't come back. I searched all over the ship. I found one of her sandals. Ella? And then the other. Oh my god. In the water. Captain! Captain! The boat stopped. Circled back around. Nothing. That's when we called the Coast Guard. Told them my coordinates. And you think she fell? Well, she wouldn't have jumped. I'm sorry. I'm just as shocked as you are. Yeah, she must have fallen. Over the guardrail? It's the only thing I could think. Maybe she was seasick. Maybe we hit a wave. I don't know. Sounds like there's a lot that you don't know. And why did you call us down here in the middle of the night? They call off the search at dusk. Fair enough. I'm leaving the island. Heading back to LA. My business needs me. Unbelievable. If you didn't push my sister overboard, you'd be doing everything you could to find her. Listen to me. Your sister and I had an emotional relationship at times, but I would never do something like that. I don't believe you. And when we get back, I'm getting an investigator to find out what happened, and I will find out. You gotta be kidding me. The police have been investigating this for a week. They think it was an accident. Why would you make that kind of trouble for me? For all we know, they're on your payroll. No. Back in the U.S., I suggest you cooperate. Why wouldn't I? Let's go. I hope you're telling the truth. Your money won't get you far in prison. I'm not going to prison. I called Mika. Are you sure that's a good idea? She has plenty of connections. City Hall, LAPD. She can help us find out what really happened to Ella. Tolan will know it's us. Is there any money involved? Did he have an insurance policy on her? I don't know. But Tolan Ferrier didn't need an insurance policy. I mean, he was worth millions on his own. Well, Dwayne will find out if anything isn't right. Thank you for getting your friend involved, Mika. It's always good to know a cop. And I can snoop around the city attorney's office. Privately, of course. I appreciate this. Just please don't put your job at risk. I won't. I'm careful. Ah, uh, it's Harrison, right? Uh, yeah, hi, Detective. Uh, Thank you for coming by. Please, just call me Dwayne. Mika. Hi. Thanks for coming. No worries. It's good to see you, lady. You too, Dwayne. Thank you for helping. Well, I'll do what I can, but it's already a complicated situation. I told him everything. The police are having a hard time finding anything. But I know that we can dig up something on this guy. 
Now, do you have any proof a crime was committed? No. Has he hit you since the last time? Be honest. Lydia, I never said he did that. What does that mean? So, yes, he has? A couple arguments, nothing serious, nothing as bad as the night of the baseball game. Couples argue, right? So he just hasn't gotten drunk enough yet to do real damage. I thought there was abuse. She kept it to herself, but she never told me anything specific. I tried to help, and she told me to just trust her. Right. Do you have access to her phone records, maybe her social media pages? No. Well, I can look up both her and Tolan, but if you think she was murdered, the department won't investigate until she's been declared dead in absentia. What do I need to do? Well, unfortunately, you've got to file a missing persons report at the station. Going to work today? I had a showing it too, but I think I'll cancel it. You okay? Yeah. I just I need a few mental health days. Okay. Well, I will take Josh to school and I will call you later just to check in. Love you. Report a missing person. One moment, please. Hey, Mika. Did you know about your sister's life insurance policy? Life insurance? No. <laughs> $1.2 million. Oh my god, the man's already wealthy. It's not what you think. She's listed as the owner, and she took out the policy three months ago. She took out the policy on herself? That's right. Who's a beneficiary, then? You are. Hello? Mr. Ferrier? Is this real? It all checks out. Looks like she wanted to make sure you were taken care of. She must have thought that he was gonna kill her. Did she ever say that to you? That she thought her life was in danger? No. If anything, that always came from me. She was the one defending him. <gasps> oh. We should definitely call the store and see if they have that one in stock for you to try on. I already have my dress. What? We're going shopping Saturday. You had me make the appointment. No, I know, but Tolan found one he liked, and... So Tolan is picking out your wedding dress now? It's a gorgeous dress. He wanted to get it for me as a gift. No. He wanted to get it so he would have control over one more thing. Who's ever heard of the groom picking out the bride's dress? You can still go with me to the fitting. Is this really what you want to sign up for? For the rest of your life? It's gotten better. That's not good enough. She minimized it a lot. Well, Dwayne spoke to the captain of the yacht that Tolan chartered. He said he didn't hear any arguing before Tolan came to alert him, and nothing seemed suspicious. Well, she must have fallen overboard then. I'm not saying that. Look, Mika, Tolan can buy anyone. It would be nothing for him to give that guy 10 grand to repeat the story to anyone that asked.
Hey. Hey, don't touch that. Mr. Superior, what? you scared me. I, I didn't know you were here. Did you and Ella get back early from your honeymoon? You haven't heard? Of course you haven't heard. Ella's... Ella's missing. Missing? Just don't touch any of her things. No, no, no. Of, of course not, sir. So what else did they say? Just that they would request the report from the police in Barbados. And you told them about Tolan? <laughs> of course, but I don't think they believed me. It's just like Dwayne said, they're not going to investigate unless she's declared dead. You know what else he told me? Ella never called the police on him. Not even once. Can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. You don't think Ella would have killed herself, do you? No. No way. She was murdered. And I may not have enough evidence to prove it now, but I'm not going to let Tolan get away with this. $840,000 is a great price. Oh, yeah. They should be happy with that counteroffer. Oh, okay. I all right. Okay, thank you. Here's this for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What is it? An amulet to protect you. Wear it at all times. Tolan killed his new bride? Try and cloud recovery will prove it. So I looked up Try and Cloud Recovery. It's a software program that allows you to retrieve text, photos, and anything else from a damaged phone. So her text had backup? Yeah. I was able to log on to Ella's phone and access everything that was on there. Look at this. She sent me a text at 9.45 p.m. her time. Help, Tolan is trying to kill me. What are these numbers afterward? Coordinates, latitude and longitude. And if you look at a map, it puts them out a mile from where Tolan claims that she disappeared. So this text never came through? No. She was trying to reach out to me for help. Yeah, there's no way you could have known. But this, this proves it, doesn't it? That he killed her? I called Dwayne and, and we're talking to the police in the morning. Who do you think sent this to you? It's postmarked the day after she died. Someone on the yacht, maybe? A witness? How would they have had her password? So let me get this straight. You want your sister declared dead? That's right. And I want her husband charged with murder. And this has absolutely nothing to do with a million dollars in life insurance that's coming to you? I'm full disclosure here, Lydia. And I told you, Holly, she didn't know about that. Well, it looks bad. And all you have is this cryptic note that someone allegedly mailed to you. You can't prove that your sister wrote or sent the text that was recovered. Do you think I'm lying? This happened less than two weeks ago, right? We're not jumping to any conclusions here. You know how this can look in court. You've got nothing on the husband, and most family members hold out hope longer than this. <sighs> she fell off a boat in the middle of the night, 40 miles from shore. Of course I prayed that she swam to a boat or somebody picked her up and took her to the hospital. I have been nothing but hopeful. But the truth is, my sister is dead and everything in me tells me that this was not an accident. As I'm sure you already know, this matter is outside our jurisdiction. So I can't open a formal investigation. 
Dwayne's a little too close to the matter to interview people. But on my own time, I'll pay a friendly visit to your sister's husband. Why do you ask that, hon? She said she'd bring me a toy from the place she was going. I hope it's a new race car. Aunt Ella, she fell off the boat and, and she's not coming back. They want her to come back. Yeah, I know, baby, me too. But she's, she's an angel now. In heaven. And it's really pretty there, and, and she's very happy. I'm never gonna see her again? You will someday. But for right now, you can... You can see her in your dreams anytime you want. You just have to close your eyes and think about her. Stay with me for a little while. Of course, buddy. This is Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne, uh, look, I know it's late, but uh, I wanted to let you know I've uncovered some information on that name you supplied me with. You don't say. Yep, an account in the Caymans. And how did you find this out? Well, look, it took a bit of work, but I was able to find several accounts linked back to this name. Look, I, I have never seen anyone use so many shell accounts to disguise their activity. I have five financial institutions over three different countries. Okay. It seems your toll and farrier has had some pretty questionable banking activity over the last 60 days. This certainly makes things a lot more interesting. recently transferred a million dollars from a few bank accounts to some secret account. Now the cash took quite a journey, but ultimately it all ended up in the same location. Yeah, where's that? The Cayman Islands. Do you think he's gonna run? Sure looks that way. Why didn't you alert us about your wife's disappearance in Barbados? When I spoke to her sister, Lydia, she said she was handling it. I figured it was already underway. Honestly, I haven't had much time to do anything since I've been back. Everywhere I look around are signs of our new life together. The one we never had. Did your wife have any life insurance policies? Not that I know of. Why was there one? How would you describe the relationship between you and Ella? 
Well, obviously it was good. We just got married. Weddings can be stressful. Did you two argue a lot? Don't you ever question me again. Do you hear me? I can't remember a single time that we fought. Well, those are all the questions I have right now, Mr. Ferrier. If you have any more, feel free to call me, please. I will. Thank you. I'll show you out. Look here. Your lifeline. It's short. I see your death connected to this man. Madam Deirdre. Thank you for getting me in. I know you probably book in advance. No, I'm glad you came. Oh, I have the note and the amulet that was Lydia, sent. Lydia, your sister is alive. I wish that were true, but it, that's not possible. She faked her death. It was the only way she could ever get away from Tolan. He had to believe she's dead or he'd go looking for her. What are you saying? Do you have any idea what I've been through? I'm not lying to you. Just stop. I knew it was a bad idea coming here. Lydia! No, you can't play with people's emotions like this. I knew you'd eventually come here if I sent you the amulet. How long have you been here? I came a few days after you left the Caribbean. And Madame Deer journey the whole time? Yeah. We became friends last year. I made her a few custom dresses for her work. We had coffee and she offered to help me. I knew you couldn't help. Too obvious. Besides, you can't keep a secret. Tolan would have figured it out. Ella could have helped. I am so sorry. I didn't tell you before I did it. But I couldn't risk it. No. It's okay. I just... I can't believe I'm sitting across from you right now. I thought that monster had taken you away from me. You would have. He threatened you many times. He said if I left him if I embarrassed him in that way, he would have me killed. How did you do it? I hired a man in Barbados for a certain amount of cash. Madame Deirdre's cousin agreed to help me. His name is Matas. He was the ship's captain. <laughs> I told Tolan I wasn't feeling well, that I needed some air. He was tired, taking a nap. I knew that would buy me some time. Once up top, my plan was simple. I plant a sandal on deck and throw the other one overboard. I knew in his search for me, Tolan would find it. The fear of doing this was overwhelming, but I had no choice. I knew it was now or never. Matas had a plan. The night I died, he hid me down below in a storage locker. He assured me they would never search. And they didn't. It worked. Matas was the one that mailed you that amulet and the note. When the investigation was over, I quietly slipped ashore. He must have been terrified. For a little bit, I didn't think I'd get away with it. In local news, our Barbados honeymoon turns tragic for a newlywed couple. Right now, all we know is that a woman seems to have fallen off the boat. American woman. We are still looking for her. The woman has been identified as Ella Ferrier, 29, from Los Angeles, California. Coast Guard and local authorities continue their search and rescue mission in hopes of finding her alive. I stayed there for two days, and then using a stolen passport I bought the morning of my bachelorette party, flew home. So you've had this planned for months? Four and a half months, to be exact. What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna stay in hiding your whole life? I found a place in Argentina. 
It's a nice little community, mostly British expats. I'm gonna move there. What about security? Do you have money? Some. I'll work, and then maybe I can borrow some from you. You are gonna make a lot of money on my desk. You really think you can get away with this? Lydia, I have no choice. My life is in danger here. Don't worry. Ella will be fine here until she leaves the country. Lydia, you can't tell anyone you saw me, not even Harrison. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. few days after you left the Caribbean. Madame Deirdre knew the whole time? Yeah, we became friends last year. So you've had this planned for months? Four and a half months, to be exact. You can't tell anyone you saw me, not even Harrison. I'm expecting her back any minute and I'll be sure she gets the message. Of course. Bye. Hey, you're back. Uh, there is a detective here to see you. Oh, show to my office. After speaking with Mr. Farrier and reviewing the witness statements from the yacht crew, I agree that your sister is most likely deceased. I still don't have enough to call this a homicide, though. Oh, um, okay, well, maybe we should just call it an accident. Why the sudden change of heart? What do you mean? You sat in my office, almost in tears, begging me to investigate your sister's husband for murder. And now it's just an accident? It doesn't matter what I believe. You need proof, right? I understand your frustration. I'm not saying I'm gonna let this go. I don't think Tolan Ferrier was completely honest when I spoke to him. I'm gonna investigate further. I appreciate that. I'll do everything I can to find out what really happened to your sister. Thank you. Honey, are you here? Lydia? Yeah, I'm out of here. Hey. I thought you were working today. No, I came home early. Listen, I uh, spoke to Victor today. I, I told him about Ella. You did? Why? It, his wife's a probate lawyer. I thought that maybe she could help us figure out how to get the police to um, declare Ella dead. It's not a problem. I spoke to the detective today, and she believes that Tolan might be responsible for Ella's death. That's good news. She's gonna investigate him? What's wrong? It, this is exactly what we wanted. I know. Hey. Don't worry. Things are finally starting to fall in line. We'll get justice for Ella. this. Dwayne, hi. Hi. Hey, I just want to let you know, my partner is still working on trying to find those offshore banking accounts. 
Oh, I didn't forget about you. Uh, thanks. Listen, Dwayne, I really appreciate all that you and your partner have done. You know, I know you're busy, and I feel bad asking you to do more. I know you don't have jurisdiction over this matter, and I would hate for you to get in trouble using all your resources. I'm not worried about my resources. I don't mind doing this. You've done a great job, but I think things are working out with the proper channels. Giving Detective Newmar additional leads will only help. Trust me. I do. And if I need anything, I'll call, really. OK, Lydia, you got my number. Okay. Night. Is that Dwayne? Uh, yeah. Are you turning down his help? No. It, this is just a mess. And I don't want him to get in trouble. I mean, Tolan is a powerful man, and he could make his life hell. I know. Didn't we want him digging behind the scenes? No. No, I, I don't, because if I did, then I wouldn't have asked him to stop. He and Mika have done enough. I mean, they're risking their careers. You didn't like the detective, right? You said we needed Dwayne and Mika. What's going on? Nothing. I just, I want to do things my way without a million other people telling me how to do it. A million other people who? I don't know. I just, I don't want to answer any more questions, OK? It's done. Hello. Lydia, it's me. I just want to let you know that I'm planning Ella's services a week from Saturday. Did you just say that you're planning them? First devotional at church, 11 o'clock, with a reception at the house after. Don't you think that maybe you should have consulted with me first? I'm well aware of what my wife wanted. You've known her a year. I've known her my whole life. Look, Lydia, this is not a contest. I'm just trying to give Ella a proper proper celebration of life. You know what? I can't do this right now. I'll call you tomorrow. <sighs> Lydia, why are you so upset? If he wants to have a funeral, let him. At least you don't have to put the work into it. Are you serious? You can plan my real one. Listen, Lydia, if he's making arrangements, he'll be getting my death certificate. I need you to get that from him for the insurance claim. About that. This is insurance fraud, Ella. I want to help, but can't you just move to South America and use your new ID to get legit work? I plan on getting work wherever I go. But I think this could help you. Will certainly help me. And not if I'm in prison. You won't be the one behind bars. I promise you that. What does that mean? It's just a matter of time until the police come and arrest Tolan for my murder. Wait. The, the text that you sent when you faked your death said Tolan was trying to kill you. And the million dollars it was wired to the Cayman Islands. Are you framing him? Lydia. It's the only way. No, 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 no. You can disappear, and he can think that you're dead. But and what if he finds out I'm not? You can't send an innocent man to prison. He is not innocent. And he does not deserve your sympathy. It's, it's not about sympathy, Ella. This is wrong. He threatened me. He degraded me. He manipulated me. And the fact that I have to fake my own death to get away from this monster is enough in and of itself. I don't doubt that he did those things to you. But he didn't murder you. Sending him to prison. But he would. Don't you get that? If I had tried to leave again, you'd be digging my body out of a ditch somewhere. He's dangerous. And look, Lydia, it's, it's not even about me. It's about the next woman he finds. Trust me, mine is not the only life I'm saving here. I know you're right. And I would do anything for you. 
but I don't know if I can be complicit in sending a man to prison for a crime that he didn't commit. Putting Tolan away, it's, it's all on me. You know that they'll call me as a witness, but I know Tolan and he'll leave. And when he does, he is never coming back here. I need to think about this. Please, Lydia. I need you to do this. If he's free, then I'm dead. How much antifreeze can kill a human? Hmm. And you say you found this under the sink? I don't usually pay any attention to what people put in their trash. But given the strange circumstances surrounding Ella's death, have you noticed anything else that seemed odd? Mr. Ferriers was adamant that he did not want me to touch any of her things after he came back from Barbados. It didn't seem unreasonable, I suppose. Tell me about their relationship. <sighs> Tilly, you're early. I didn't see your car. It's in the shop. Is everything okay? Yeah, why would you ask that? You seem in pain. I'm okay, I just overdid it on the exercise. Of course. You think you hit her? Well, there were a couple other times too. I tried to talk to her about it, but she never wanted to admit anything at least to me. Did either of them say anything about this honeymoon they took to the Caribbean? Ella did make a strange comment when I told her goodbye. What was that? Well, I said, have fun on your trip and don't worry about a thing here. And she said, what happens here is the least of my worries. Something to that effect. Thank you. This information has been very helpful. I'll stay in touch. Thank you, Detective. She was such a beautiful soul. She would want us to be smiling today, you know? I was hoping for something stronger, but this is all there is. How you holding up? Well, that eulogy was riveting. You know what's weird? Other than that one, there's not a single photo of Ella anywhere in this house. Copy of the death certificate. Thank you. Officers, secure the house. Let's go to start in there. Detective? Mr. Ferrier, we have a warrant to search his property. What for? You can read it. All these people just came from my wife's funeral. Then I'm sure they'll be supportive of our investigation. Lunch next week, then. Okay. Hey. Hey, take it easy with that computer. It's expensive. Tolan Ferrier. Yeah. You're under arrest for the murder of Ella Westcomb. What? You gotta be kidding me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. This is ridiculous. And her name was Ella Ferrier. Let's go. Honey, you okay? Yeah. I think I'm gonna be sick. There is some satisfaction in watching that prick get stuffed into a police car, I have to admit. I can't do this. You need me to pull over? No, I can't. I can't keep this secret for her. I mean, I know it's wrong. I just don't know how to make it better at this point. What secret? Ella's alive. She faked her death in Barbados. What? I just found out a couple days ago. 
She hired a Bayesian man to help her pull it off. Said that she thought he would kill her if she tried to end it any other way. So, Tolan was just arrested for a crime that didn't even happen. Yeah. And you just stood there and you let that happen? What was I supposed to say? Let him go? She's, she's alive? None of it's real? He can't know that she's alive. Lydia, come on. I understand that she was scared, but there are other ways. I mean, she could have gone to the police. They could put her in witness protection or She's something. not a witness. Still. Do you know how many women are killed by their exes? Even if she moved out of state and changed her name, Tolan has the means to go after her anywhere she tries to hide. Even so, you can't possibly think that this is acceptable. I don't. But I'm not going to put Ella in any more danger than she's already in. Now, Lydia, I don't want you to be alarmed, but I just heard from Dwayne. Tolan already posted a million dollar bail. Doesn't surprise me. He also told me that you were asking us to stand down. Why didn't you say anything to me? Look, Mika, it, it's been pretty crazy. Look, I'm sorry, but we've got him where we want him. You know, I've had time to process and I just want the courts to decide. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, Lydia. You know, if you need anything, you can talk to me. I do. I love you. And I promise I will put myself back together soon. I know you will. I love you too. No pressure. Yeah. I gotta get back to work. Bye. So, I was thinking, what if I send this in, collect on the life insurance, and then when it's time to testify, tell them that I had a change of heart, that I didn't think Tolan did it. I could even testify as a character witness for the defense. What if he's convicted anyway? What if the IRS figures out you've been filtering money over to Ella? You'd really risk going to prison for insurance fraud, obstruction of justice, what about us? You're our family. Ella is family, too. You know what? Ella made her own bed. She can lie in it. Are you really blaming her? She's the victim of a jealous husband. Okay, no one's going to be blaming her for that. Okay, but she concocted this whole scheme, and she may be fine by putting an innocent man in jail, but I'm not. And I can't believe that you are either. You have no idea what it's like to live in fear the way that she did. To be emotionally terrorized by your jealous husband and act like nothing ever happened. Harrison, there is nothing innocent about Tolan. There's nothing innocent about that man. Thousand? That can't be right. Thank you for calling Sanders, Price, and Wilton. How may I assist you? Can I speak with Frank Sanders, please? This is Tolan Ferrier. One moment. You know how I feel about Tolan, but this isn't right. And you know that. Yeah. I know. Everything you're saying is the truth. And I love her, and I would do anything for her but at the expense of our family. Our son. Oh, God. What are we gonna do? We can't file the insurance claim. I know. Yeah, Frank, it's just as perplexing to me. I haven't been making any transfers from my offshore accounts. And we can't let Tolan, despite how much we both despise the guy, go to prison. You're right. Yeah, thanks, Frank. I'll keep you apprised.
No. What? No. Why not? Because I can't. What do you mean you can't do it? You have to. I can't. You know that I love you, but I have Josh and Harrison to think about. How can you do this to me? The answer is no. I'm not going to jail for you. I have too much to lose. There are other ways to make you safe. You are not going to jail. And no, there really aren't any other ways. If he finds out I'm alive, he'll kill me. That's who Toll Inferior is, and you know that. Here's your death certificate. It's all I can do. So look, you're really dead now. That's exactly right, Lydia. There's nothing stopping him now. I know that was hard, but he did the right thing. If anything happens to her, I'll never forgive myself. No, don't let her put this on you. You can only help others so much. They gotta be responsible for themselves. You up to? She copied my passwords. She's making transfers. Setting me up. My own wife. Why that little? is going on what are you talking about you know damn well what was ella doing transferring money between my accounts i have no idea is she alive why would you even ask me that i will get to the bottom of this and if i find out that you're involved i'll infiltrate every aspect of your life until it is unrecognizable you may have been able to bully my sister but you were not going to bully me and if you even try, it'll be the last thing you do. We'll see. And then he says, we'll see. I mean, what is that supposed to mean? We'll see? The guy's a jerk, that's no surprise. Besides, anything he does will make him look guilty. True. Have you talked to Alan? No. And I probably won't ever again. I, I was devastated when I thought she died. And then I was so happy when I found out she was alive. And now it, it's like she died all over again. What do you think he meant when he said that he would infiltrate every part of our lives? I don't know. He's a powerful guy. Who knows what he'll do next? That's a great race car, Josh. Let's finish up now, okay? 
It's almost time to leave for school. <clears throat> Hello? Lydia, Detective Newmar here. Hi, Detective. I just want to let you know that the prosecutor will be contacting you in the next day or two to schedule a deposition. A deposition? That's right. He'll want to know about the last time you spoke to your sister, her relationship with Tola, and those types of things. OK. And Lydia, just so you know, between the phone records and the maid witnessing abuse, our evidence is mounting. Great, thank you. Hello, 343. Hello, Westcombe. Let's look at travel history. 7,800 miles at it four weeks ago. I'm going to Atlanta on Monday to meet with a potential retailer. Oh? Who? Fryman's, one of the largest in the country. If they order even a few of the dresses, it could be a really big deal. You're gonna have to tell Carol that you can't make it. What? Why? You've got so much going on with the wedding. The coordinator has pretty much taken on the rest. Besides, it's only for two days. Fine. Two days. And I want you back here. Of course. You travel. <sighs> Atlanta certainly isn't 7,800 miles round trip. You connections. But this is. Hi, Lydia. Good morning. Hey, guys. How are you? So, so sorry you were late. You wouldn't believe the traffic. Uh, you know what? I have to take this. Go ahead and go in. It's unlocked. I'll be in just a minute. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hi, honey. Well, what's up? Do you have Josh? No, I'm showing a house. You were supposed to pick him up, remember? He wasn't there. What? He wasn't at the main entrance. But they're five minutes after the bell. I don't know where he is. Well, he has to be there. Maybe he went back inside, asked ask one of the teachers. I did. No one saw him come back in. Lydia, I think Josh is gone. What do you think? Is it cool? So cool. said she saw him leave with a tall blonde man. She said uh, it looked like he knew who he was. Stop. God, I can't believe this is happening. Buddy, more surprises inside. Here, let me carry them. You know, your mom wanted me to pick you up. She wanted me to introduce you to somebody. You want to meet someone? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. And you're sure it was Tolan who picked him up? I showed the woman who saw him a photo. She said it was him. Why do you think Tolan would pick Josh up? It doesn't make any sense. Detective Ella's not dead. She's alive and on the run from Tolan. Unbelievable. How long have you known? Not long. All right. I'll put out an Amber Alert right away. Give me a description of his car. We'll get Josh back, and we'll deal with the rest later. Oh, a dog! Yeah, her name's Beckett. 
Why don't you and Beckett play for a little bit while I go move the car? Okay. You really think this is a good idea? It's the only lead we have. Where is it? It's just around the corner. This is taking a long time. She better be here. Come on, answer the door. Deirdre, where's Ella? What is this? I have a client. Where's Ella? She left. Where'd she go? I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Listen to me. Our son has been kidnapped. Tolan took him from school. We need Ella's help figuring out where he might have taken him. I honestly have no idea. She packed up her things and left this morning. She called for a ride. She didn't say anything about where she was going. I don't believe you. You fooled me once, not again. Where's my sister? I know she had a passport with the name Jennifer Cooper. She's probably using it to leave the country. Okay, let's call Detective Newmar. Maybe she can contact TSA, find out where she is. If you do that, Ella's life will be at risk. Look, right now, my son's life is the only one that matters. Hello? Lydia? It's him. It's Tolan. Where's Josh? He's safe. For now. If you want him to remain that way, I want Ella. Even exchange. I have no clue where she is. So she is alive. Yes. If you want to see your son again, find Ella. You have two hours. Detective Newmore. Detective Newmore, it's Harrison. Harrison, what's going on? Listen, we just met with Madame Deidre and we got a call from Tolan. He has Josh. Is Josh okay? Did he say where he was? No, no he didn't. All we know is that we have two hours to find Ella and get her to Tolan, otherwise, We'll never see Josh again. Okay. Stay calm. Is there anything else that can help us find him or Ella? Madam Deidre said that Ella was using a fake passport with an alias, Jennifer Cooper. Can you track her with that? I'll get someone on that right now. Listen, how long did the call with Tolan last? There's a chance I can trace his number. Find out where he's keeping Josh. Yeah, well, there's a problem with that, detective. Lydia said that the call came in on an unlisted number. Probably a burner phone. Damn. Okay, I want you both to come straight to my office. Our only hope right now is finding Ella. We're on our way. not meant to put you or your family in harm's way. Forget the whole insurance thing, it was too much. Once I'm gone, everything will go back to normal. No, it won't, Ella, he has Josh. Oh my God. Oh, what have I done? Do you know where he might have taken him? Another, another house or hotel or something? Uh, nearby, there's only one place. He has another home in Castaic, just north of LA. I'm driving now, and I'm not far, so I'll head there now. I'm gonna make this right. Ella, please just wait for the police. If anything happens to Josh, I will never forgive myself. Nothing is gonna happen to Josh. I'll text you the address now. Oh, and Lydia? Yeah? Tell the police he has a private jet at the airport in Castaic. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'm close. I will get to Josh no matter what. Detective Newmar, Ella called. 
What? We think we might know where Tolan's holding Josh. Tolan Ferrier, you're under arrest for the murder of Ella Westcomb. What? What was your fortune? She said I was gonna live happily ever after. Something happened to Ella. I'm gonna go up and get some air. Ella? Oh my God. Captain! Captain! Did you kill her? Did you? Tolan Ferrier. Yeah. You're under arrest for the murder of Ella Westcomb. You gotta be kidding me. Your money won't get you far in prison. I'm not going to prison. Listen, Dwayne, Ella texted us the address of Tolan's second house outside LA. It's in Castaic. I've already had dispatch send the local sheriff, but this guy's dangerous. He has permits for multiple weapons, and he has a jet at the local airport. I need you to get out there ASAP. I'm bringing Harrison and Lydia with me. Yep, I'm on my way. Be safe. You too, Numa. Let's go. I'll get Lydia. This is Sam. It's Tolan. Hello, Mr. Barrier. I want my jet fueled and ready to go in one hour. One hour, not a problem. We'll get it done for you. Sorry, this is private property. No trespassing. Please, don't shoot. Is this the right road? GPS says it's a dirt road. Help me to my car. Okay, you're gonna be fine. You okay? Yeah. Just remember to breathe, okay? Deep breaths. 
you're gonna be fine. Just tell her. They need help. Stop the car. Oh my goodness. Where's Josh? Harrison, help him. The boy's inside. What about Tolan? I hit him in the head with a shovel. I think he's dead. I'm going inside to get Josh. Wait, Ella! You okay? Yeah. Ella, wait! Ella, what are you doing? Lydia, get back! Nobody else goes in that house! Ah, get off of me! Now get back! There he is! Dwayne! Gun! Gun! Drop the weapon! Show me your hands, Farrier! I'm not going to prison! If I die, I'm taking someone with me! Everybody behind the cars, now! Yeah, that's right! That's right, everybody back up! Back up, or Josh doesn't go home! Ella goes back from the rave. You gave me no choice. You were trying to free me from murder. After everything I've done for you, you're my wife, I love you. Put the gun down, Barrier! You have every right to be mad at me, but don't take this out on my family. Hold your precious sister has it coming. You knew she was alive! You let them arrest me! Well, now you're gonna see what it's really like to lose someone. Tolan, please. It's me you want, okay? Let's just go. We can get away right now. We'll take your plane. Tolan, you can do whatever you want with me. Put the gun down, Tolan! Don't do it, Tolan. No one has to die. Think of your family. Little witch. You don't want to hurt anybody. The death do us part, remember? Okay. I'll die with you, but I want to say one last thing to Lydia. Sis. So heartbroken over our tragedy. On three. So heartbroken. I said to her, did she? Did she? On three. Shoot on three. Shoot on three. One. Two. Three. Oh my God, Ella. Stay back with you. Stay back. Drop your weapon, Tolan. Drop your weapon, or I'll shoot. We could have had a perfect life together. No one could have had a life with you. Dwayne, cuff him and read him his rights. Okay, Josh. Keep pressure on the one. Josh, are you okay? Tolan Ferrier, you're under arrest. Oh, sis. You okay? It hurts, but I'm okay. It's over. Roll back. God. Go ahead. Go see Aunt Ella. No. Oh, my sweetheart. Okay. Me too. Woo, that's a good slide, bud. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I still can't believe you kept the dog. It, he's kept his promise to feed her and take her on walks. They're insufferable. I'm sorry I lied. I should have never gotten you involved at all. I forgive you. I'm just glad that you're still here. Still alive? Well, yeah, that too. And also not living halfway across the world where I would never get to see you. Just promise me one thing. Don't say it. I, this is what sisters are for. Okay, just agree. I know that... any new boyfriend gets your stamp of approval. Yes. 
How'd you know? A fortune teller told me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> funny. They're very funny. Hmm. That reminds me. We need a night out. Yeah, we do. We need some fun. Okay. Yes. In fact, I know a place we can go. No, no, no. You planned the last one, and look how well that turned out. Uh, I will coming. make the arrangements. Hey, I'm next. I'm next.